I agree. I agree that I don't know is the best answer, but Ooh, I love this. <laughs> but but I don't like I don't like saying that because I feel like <laughs> what is your name, by the way? Tyler. Tyler? Ty? Can I call you Ty? I go by Tyler. I rarely usually. call anyone my own name. That's why. I just wanted that one opportunity in my life. You <laughs> robbed it from me. So you go by Ty? I go by Ty. Okay. Tyrone's fine, too. Um, Tyler? Yeah. Mind if we do a quick little chat real quick? Sure. All right. So five minutes. I'm an atheist. Um, that just means that I don't currently have a belief in a God. Yeah. I'm looking for good reasons to believe. And I thought this would be a good opportunity to come down and talk to people, yeah. see what they believe, see why they believe it. Do you happen to have a God belief? I, I do not. Uh, I would describe myself as an atheist most of the time, sometimes an anti-theist. Oh, honestly. it yeah, kind of like dips I, down that low? Yeah, yeah. I, like, uh, I, there's obviously positives and negatives to everything, but I, 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 I typically think that um, religion typically does more harm to society than benefits and so I I, I would typically I don't know I would sometimes describe myself as an anti-theist rather than an atheist is like there, actively opposed to it is there any benefit to religion but without the theism yeah like sense of community on it is what most people honestly go to, like even if they don't admit it to themselves I see like a lot of people go to church just for the sense of community sure. that it brings and the support system that they have mm -hmm. that's good and I don't think they you, you, you don't necessarily have to have a God belief in order to have a system like that. It's just there is no existing structure for people like that, for people who don't have a God belief. I understand. Like, that's like that. So that's like a positive that religion can have. But in terms of negatives, I feel like just... I think religion, religious doctrine ultimately teaches people not to question things, and I think that that's a harmful... Mm. That's a harmful thing to society over the long term. If there was a religion that wasn't as decisive, was all about asking questions and about loving your fellow man and stuff like that, and you were surrounded by that more so than what we're surrounded right now, would you be more likely religious? Um, or stay religious? Probably. I wouldn't be religious, but I would respect religion more if that was the case. But I still... That's a good I don't clarification. Think, I don't think it's... I honestly... I can't see how it's possible to have a set of beliefs revolving around a God belief that involves questioning your faith because mm. I feel like any amount of questioning ultimately breaks it down for me. Like that's, I, I've i never seen any logical support for... There are some people, for example, who worship the sun. Mm -hmm. We got the sun right here. It's pretty unarguable that the sun exists. What about yeah. those guys? I mean, it exists, but like at that point, is, is it a supernatural belief yes. or is it... Like, like the sun gives us life, gives us heat, makes the flowers grow, we eat the flowers, blah, 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 blah. Like, without the sun, we'd all die. Therefore, yeah. the sun's creator of life. We worship the sun. That's our God. Other than that, everyone love each other. I, I mean, keep asking yeah, questions. I feel, like, <laughs> I feel like that's a... I don't think that that's the same thing. I can't necessarily think of where the distinction is. Mm. It's, it's For me... Personally, it's that um, because we call something something doesn't make it that thing. Yeah. It's not necessary to call the sun a god. Mm -hmm. We already got good names for the sun. We just call it the sun. Yeah. Give me a reason to call it the sun, a god. Or show me your proof for it. Yeah. And if, if it's not satisfying, then I, I, I don't see a need to call mm -hmm. it that. Um, how did you become an atheist? If you know what I'm asking? If that's uh, a long story, that's I, long. I've never really been religious. Oh, just in okay. my household. Um, like whenever I was a very, very, very small child, we went to church, I okay. guess. But it's not. It was like before I could even remember. So, yeah, I've just never really believed in God, and especially in middle school, um, around like eighth grade, is whenever I really started to come into my own identity about that and and and, and think about why I wasn't religious and and what would convince associate you that with my that a God did exist, say the um, Christian God. If something could convince me, are you open-minded? Yeah, I would say I'm open-minded, but there's just nothing out there right now. If there, if there was, hypothetically, what would it take? Uh, anything that went against, um, well, okay, I was about to say anything that went against natural law that we currently know, but 
uh, that would just that wouldn't even like if it was just okay talk to me yeah if something went against natural law that we currently know that would just be something else to incorporate into our new theories. I wouldn't even necessarily consider that proof of God. If it was, if it, if there was literally like a Jesus resurrection and he came to Earth and performed miracles, okay, then I guess that yeah, would convince that would, you. That would probably convince me. So but, if a guy did some tricks where he's just like, <laughs> "Hey, see that staff? Now be, it's a snake." It would right. have to be Walk, uh, Chris Angel walks on water. Jesus does that for a little bit. That'd yeah. be enough. Be like, oh yeah. Okay. It would have to be more rigorous than that. Mm. Um, there was I don't know, you've probably heard of this. There was this guy that put up a put up a bounty basically to show any kind of supernatural ability. Uh, James um, Randi. That was probably it. Yeah. Put it and then said, if anybody can perform supernatural things, you get this million dollars yes. or whatever. Yes, and yeah. Nobody's Easy been able dollars. to claim it so right. far. So. I feel like if someone was able to consistently perform miracles, that would have something like that would have been proven by now. In the event that someone did actually prove miracles on a consistent basis, yeah, and told you that um, they were God mm -hmm. because I'm able to do these things that you can't explain, mm -hmm. is that proof that they are in fact a God? It's it's not proof, but it's support. And it would it would make me more inclined to believe that probably. But it wouldn't tip the scales to actually believe um, it. Like how would you be able to distinguish like a god specifics. versus like a wizard? Like Yeah, that's a good point. Or a time I guess. traveler um, who just knows really cool technology that you can't <laughs> fathom at that point. I, what what's proof for God? I I just don't really like the word proof because I don't really think anything is proof. It's so, just support. Then what's demonstration for a god existing then? What would be a direct support for a god in it? and not say for like a fancy time wizard? Like, like you said, a, or wiz a, demon, a wizard or, or a time, a time traveler. traveler. Yeah, yeah how do you, I guess. How do you make the decision? I guess, I guess you can't in that. Yeah, I didn't think about that, but you, yeah, it could be someone that just has supernatural abilities that isn't a god. But yeah, exactly. That's, I think in a world like that where that's a possibility, mm -hmm. I don't know what would convince me. Exactly. And I think I don't know is probably the best answer at this point. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, I, I, I agree. I agree that I don't know is the best answer, but ooh, I love this. <laughs> but, but I don't like I don't like saying that because I feel like just saying just putting my hands up and saying I don't know. There's no way to know for sure. I never said that. That okay. seems like that seems but like a, I don't know that, followed okay, by knowledge. Sorry, I wasn't I wasn't trying to prescribe those beliefs to you. <laughs> I was just saying some people do say that. I understand. So, I think I don't know is the best place to start. Anything else mm -hmm. you put on top of that is a different path. Yeah. But I don't know, and there's no way to know it. That seems to be like another I don't know for me. Mm -hmm. For me, it's I don't know, and that's the best place to start learning to know. That's yeah. the best place to start the journey of. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to figure you out. And if there is a God out there, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I want to start with the premise of I don't know. Yeah. That you way know I'm not biased. Is? Yeah. It is 420. All right. You got your test coming up? Uh, my test, my exam's at 5, so I'm still good. Did you study at all for this? No. Go on and get out of here. I don't study. Tyler, <laughs> I enjoyed the talk with you, man. I enjoyed it. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you again. Thank for, you for your kind I'm, words. I appreciate I'm it. I'm glad you're here yeah. to contrast what's going on over there. You, you, are you a chemical engineer? A uh, chemistry student, not engineer. I'm biochemist myself. Really? Yes. Um, you already know my contact needs, but um, I'll grab this. Study chemistry, or it's a good field to be in. What do you think? Not really good. Do you have enough conclusive evidence to get you to 98% that God exists? And you don't have to say it, I don't know right now, but like, do you think your position is justified? No. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's tough. Aaron, I really appreciate this. Thank you. Yeah.